Hey folks, this is Jeff with another little episode of Real Country with Jeff and Melanie doing a little update. Uh, in my last video I mentioned we were going to try our hand at, at incubating some eggs in our little incubator. First time for us. Been trying to follow everybody else's instructions. Hopefully we've been doing it right. Today is day 14. And uh, today is the day I can get this little egg out of here. Today is the day that we take the turner out of the incubator. And that's what I'm doing right now. And laying our eggs uh, inside. We're on the final stretch to see how many is going to hatch for us. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can because I know my temperature is dropping. Humidity is going down. Uh, so, like I said, we're trying to get it ready and hopefully in the next few days we'll have some babies trying to hatch out. Alright, let me set this over here. Have to bear with me. I'm trying to film and hold and do everything. Alright, let's spread the eggs out a little. Try not to get them too tied up against each other. I want everybody to have room. Like I said, we've never done this before. I got a little bad news for y'all. I may be wasting my time and yours too. Of course, I tried to do everything like I should have done it. Best I knew how. And no joke. Time. Let me set this right here real quick. Y'all bear with me on this bad camera angle. Let's see here. Alright, let me throw this thing back on here very quickly. There we go. Alright, excuse the technical difficulties. But yeah, I had everything going good on my little incubator. Uh, we had to correct temp, we had to correct humidity, and everything was going good for about a couple days. And that one of those latest little hurricanes that came and hit through we didn't get any bad weather but our power knocked off one night and uh, we lost power for probably 45 minutes and thank goodness you know it's still hot but it wasn't like the constant temperature the constant humidity and the constant eggs being turned well the power came back on we thought everything was good maybe that wouldn't make a difference and then about 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, it knocked off again for another 20 to 30 minutes. And then it came back on and worked all night fine, and I was checking it. Next morning, all of a sudden, power knocks off for about 15 minutes. And I just assumed that apparently they did a patch job, the power company did, the night before and got it to where we didn't have to sleep without air conditioning. And then the next morning they had to cut it off to do a permanent repair. So, you know, there was one night and the next morning, grand total of probably off and on an hour and a half to two hours, we lost power. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything. I honestly don't expect to have a bitty hatch, but there's nothing I can do about it. And like we said, this is real country with real life, but I hope in an upcoming video in a few days to I hope we have some hatch even if we didn't get by five or ten I'd be tickled to death uh, as it is there's 41 eggs in there I had the, the turner slap full uh, but like I said today's the 14th day so now we're going to just let them lay there hopefully they'll hatch and I'm fixing to start bumping that humidity up and try to get that level as high as we can and hopefully everything will turn out good so keep your fingers crossed and good lord willing the creek don't rise maybe next time i see you we'll be showing some babies hatching or trying to but once again this is jeff miss melanie says hey uh hopefully 
we'll have some biddies on down the road and if we don't we'll just get a next batch ready to attempt again and take it over and try again that's all you can do but thank y'all if you like the little videos hit like please hit subscribe we appreciate everybody that's been subscribing and uh, hopefully we'll have some good news in two to four days but thank y'all and look forward to seeing you next time here on real country with jeff and melanie good night